Hey guys, namaste. I hope everyone doing well. So today I'm going to show you how to make German spätzle. So let's take a look into the ingredients now. So we need one tablespoon of sour cream, one large egg, some pinch of paprika, half a cup of uh, all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of milk, and for toppings, I'm gonna use half of cauliflower, one tablespoon of butter, and some cilantro and parsley to uh, garnish. In a medium-sized bowl, place flour, egg, salt, paprika, or if you have cayenne paper, that's good, and some sour cream and milk, and whisk it until the batter drips slowly off the whisk. If it's too thick, you can always add milk. If it's too thin, you can always add flour to make that consistency. If you have cheese grater with medium or large holes, then you can use that. But for me, I'm using the uh, colander. Hit the pot with full of salted water. And put the mixture on the colander. Make sure it's slowly passing through the hole, but not dripping. Start when water is boiling. Use the help of a spatula to press it down and complete this like three to four batches as you need. When the dumpling starts floating on the surface of water, that's when you know it's done. So you can transfer it to the plate. Here is the final cooked spätzle. Now let's make the cauliflower toppings. Heat the same pot that you use for water and add butter. and then add cauliflower and stir it. After five minutes, add parsley and cilantro and mix it together. Add some salt and pepper. So be careful about adding salt here as we used in spatula too. Some chili pepper to give it a little spice. Close the lid and cook for five more minutes. Once it's done, you can place it on top of spätzle. And I'm adding one sausage on the side dish. And also you can add meat toppings or just butter and some parsley. Thank you so much guys.